back to another really exciting video tutorial so today let's discuss about how to add underwater sound effects for your next travel videos so it's really simple this is my old video if you are searching life live explore natural life in youtube you can see you can really get it this video it's my it's our old youtube channel anyway this video we created three years back 2017 with uh, oppo uh, mobile camera so that's why the quality is really bad anyway uh, so i'm just downloading this video you can also download for testing if you don't have any underwater any other underwater video anyway i just downloaded this video also you can use save from dot net to download these kind of videos so yeah anyway uh, i'm going to download some underwater bubble sound effects uh, to enhance our scene so i just download this listen uh, some music and if you like it just download it anyway, I just opened uh, this video into Premiere Pro. Now, actually, uh, this part we need this part. So I just Control K for to cut the part. Now here, yes. Okay, we need until I think we need to extend a little bit more. Mm, so i'm just adjusting my workspace anyway next uh, import your music so i'm going to import the music from here it's a high face music so i just imported the music and okay now let's check how to uh, add underwater effect not underwater the Uh, these effects so underwater video effects sound effects so anyway uh, you had you can access all audio effects from fx window and audio effects so you can use uh, amplify you can use any other effects also but right now i'm using uh, parametric equalizer is pretty good is a well it's very easy uh, that's why I'm using this parametric equalizer. So just apply parametric equalizer into our audio. Now go to FS control. You can access all the effects. I don't want this window. That's why I closed it. You, know, you can see parametric equalizer here. And you know, uh, actually you can see all individual parameters and you can keyframe this thing. And if you are click on this edit you can access parametric equalizer window you can edit from here also so now i'm going to edit you know this right side is completely uh, it's a small area means you can enhance your bus and yeah, this side is bus this side is trouble and yeah if you are sorry so these are the basic now i will explain uh, what to do everything in detail so you can do something like this because we need more bars so something like this also fine see just here if you are okay with the sound then uh, you can uh, close this window and i will explain how to use okay anyway if you are listening so you can bypass sorry if you're clicking if you are, if you are tick on this bypass the effects will not appear you can hear the normal music but when you untick this bypass you can hear the apply the parametric equalizer effects now it's applied so you can animate this bypass so here, uh, so before getting into this wa water, so here you can add one keyframe and go to one move one frame forward, then add just untick the bypass. That's it. So now it's un bypass. 
now here from here you have to reverse the animation it's pretty easy uh, just a basic logic only uh, you have to bypass whenever you are in inside the water but you had to uh, until you had to take the bypass when you are get outside the water so that's it so here just listen there are some problem because sudden cut so you have to you can use this but so the problem if you are using this bypass is a sudden cut Let's see here over here so that's a problem so you can use bypass or instead of this bypass uh, i will explain so i'm just going to delete that keyframe or you can keyframe these individual parameters now you, then you will get a lot of controls so i'm going to apply the parameter equalizer again and uh, from here apply just add a keyframe to all individual parameters because we don't know which one we are going to control that's why we add a keyframe for all the parameters now here go to edit and change your setting that's it so change you know we already discussed about this thing in previous so that's why just change your uh, parameter equalizer graph something like this now see here they will automatically add some keyframes here that's why the, we adjusted these options you can delete other keyframes if you don't want so now see here you will get blend that's why you will get blend from the normal into this fx from here until here it has to be stick so you can add a keyframe on these individual parameters now i think there is no keyframe in down, down from here okay here until here uh, you can uh, control c just control v just copy paste the first keyframe into last control c control v you click the first keyframe and control c then control v so that's it. so simple This is better. Let's see. Now you will get the blend in between these effects. Yeah, it's pretty good. So it's very. Ah, you can create uh, these effects instead of parametric. You can use other effects also. Uh, maybe dynamic posing also you can use. Yeah, that's it. So you are done. So just try some just shoot some underwater video now i'm going to add some extra effects the underwater bubble effects so it will enhance your see from here you can add a keyframe in volume and extend and a keyframe by pressing control hold the control key and click on that line you can create a keyframe so yeah See, it's really interesting you can enhance your videos like this so next video the complete about complete sound effect so stay tuned